Hello everyone and welcome to another City Skylines 2 video where this time I want to do a little experiment. As I'm sure you're aware the game has had a number of performance issues and it didn't run very well on my computer, in fact I don't think it runs very well on anyone's computer. But after scrimping and saving for a couple of years the time has finally come to replace my aging gaming rig with something brand new. So now I have a more powerful machine I want to find out how much better City Skylines 2 runs compared to the old one. So previously I was running the game on medium settings and to be fair on the settings I was using the frame rate was actually okay, I was getting around 20 to 30 frames a second. But that wasn't actually the problem, the problem that I was having was with the actual simulation of the game itself. People and cars appeared to be moving in slow motion and speeding up the game didn't make any difference whatsoever. My processor was operating at 100% and my fans were going crazy, but the game wasn't actually running very well at all. Well, now I've got my shiny new machine, it's time to fire up City Skylines 2 and see if this upgrade has actually made any difference. Okay, so I've loaded up the game and I've gone through all my settings to make sure they're the same settings that I used on my old machine in my previous video. Okay, so I'll just quickly show you, we have got a uh, day-night cycle turned off, we've got frame rate as the uh, performance preference. And you'll see that most things are set to medium except for things like clouds and fog as well as uh, depth of field and motion blur. And actually, as we happen to be over by the castle, one of the things that I noticed straight away is that the shadows around here are less janky. So uh, Editor Mike is going to throw up some footage from my last video which will show the view of this castle and you'll see that the shadows around here were all, all wrong and looked weird. So even though I'm running on the same settings, things do look possibly slightly better. It certainly seems to be a little bit smoother. I can just probably just about see I've got the Steam FPS counter up here and it's saying currently around 50 frames a second. I fly around the city and zoom in and out a bit. It's dropping, but it's staying at a fairly constant 40 frames a second. I'm just going to start the game so things are moving ah yep there we go it's dropped down to 30 but it still seems a little bit smoother than it was on my previous machine as i say i don't think it was the actual graphics performance that i was struggling with on my old computer it was the simulation itself so let's go and find a busy spot uh, okay so here is the bridge that i was looking at in the last video where everything seemed to be running slowly and already everything seems to be running a lot more quickly and that's on one speed if i go up to two speed things actually accelerate wow and at three speed oh it's a bit jittery but it's definitely better okay so it looks like upgrading my computer hasn't made much difference to the graphical performance of the game but as i suspected it has improved the performance of the simulation uh, yes, yeah, so I've just don't, jumped over to see this busy intersection here where we've got some cars and some people moving around and this is allegedly at 3 speed, 2 speed, 1 speed, and speed doesn't seem to be making a huge amount of difference. And if I bring up Task Manager, yes, we can see it's still using a lot of things and <laughs> my uh, CPU is running at 100%. Okay, so, I mean this is quite a big city, we've got 170,000 people in the city now, so... I guess it sort of makes sense the simulation has slowed down a bit, but it looks like there's still quite a lot of uh, optimization work to be done to get this to be the game that it really should be. Okay, so that's how it behaves with the same graphic settings as before, but let's see what happens if I turn those settings up. So we'll go through, we will set everything else to high. Oh. Okay, and we're now running on high settings. Oh, that horrible motion blur is back. And yeah, we've got the fog effect, the um, volumetric things, and things maybe look a little bit sharper. I don't think it actually looks radically different from the medium settings to me. Okay, so Editor Mike is now going to show you a little montage of footage from the game using the old settings and then on maximum settings to see if we can tell the difference. Editor Mike here, before I do that I've pulled a few frames out of that previous video just so that we can see the before and after effects without all of that distracting pop-in. And now let's look at some footage I captured with the old settings and with the new settings. And while we're doing this, uh, Editor Mike is also going to throw up on the left hand side of the screen will be the specs of my old computer and on the right hand side will be the specs of the new computer just so that you can see how much of an upgrade it is. 
and how little difference it appears to have made. So I think you can see because we're not only increasing the graphic settings but you know also turning on uh, volumetrics and clouds there's definitely a difference between the two pictures. The second one is certainly more realistic and definitely better if you're a fan of fog but again I'm not sure that looking realistic is necessarily as important as making your city look good. This might just be a me thing but maybe some people want their city to look realistic and cloudy and foggy all the time but eh. Again, I think it comes down to this question of balancing realism and fun, and possibly that balance isn't quite right in City Skylines 2 at the moment. Maybe I'll be able to find a balance of graphic settings that makes the game look the way that I want it to look, and I mean, hopefully they'll add more options to customise the look and feel of the game in the future. So here we are in what will be the town of Springfield. I've just started a brand new game, and I just wanted to quickly jump in and test the performance before I started building my city. So as you can see, I've got the Steam FPS counter up here and you can see it's running at around 60 frames per second because there's no one here yet, but it is at least running a little bit quicker. I'm just going to start the simulation, go speed two, speed three. That all seems to be working and it's running at a fairly consistent 50 to 60 FPS. Okay, so I think that makes sense. The performance in the city that I used in my previous video was much lower because it was a much larger city. And as you can see, we're starting to build up a bit more of a city here and the frame rate has dropped to around 40 frames a second, but you know, it's still fairly smooth and consistent. So miraculously, I've been fiddling around with the settings and I've managed to get more than 60 frames a second and it's fairly consistent, even though I zoom in and zoom out and move around the city. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the graphics settings that I've landed on. So in our graphics settings, I've got VSync turned off, but frame latency turned up to 3, as I was just messing around with these and seemed to have lucked onto these settings. Depth of field disabled, uh, we've got FXAA on, and medium clouds, and medium volumetrics and medium ambient occlusion. Uh, depth of field and motion blur disabled, but pretty much everything else except animation quality on high and using these settings as you can see we're currently getting 73 frames a second and that's you know in the game with it running it's actually quite impressive now i have checked in my other city and it hasn't made that much of a difference to the frame rate in that much larger city but i think i'm starting to approach settings that i'm comfortable playing in and that run at a reasonable frame rate which is good Having said that, of course, there are quite a lot of other problems with the game beyond its performance. Lots of uh, missing features and bugs and other weirdness, which hopefully will get fixed uh, in time. But, you know, it's definitely an improvement in performance. I feel slightly less bad about having spent all of that money on an upgrade for my PC. Not that I got it just to play City Skylines 2, of course, but uh, yeah. In conclusion then, well, upgrading my PC has definitely made some difference to the game, but I think the ultimate conclusion is that there's still a lot of work for Colossal Order to do to optimise the game and make it playable for everyone. I just hope they can get those optimizations done fairly quickly before it's too late. So I do have uh, one more City Skylines 2 video that I am planning to do and then after that, to be honest, I think I'm going to take a break from it for various reasons. So I might go back to the original City Skylines and create a new city there, or possibly uh, have a look at another game like XCOM or one of the other games that I, that I love that I want to share. So please like and subscribe if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. Thank you very much for watching, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around.